Hey folks, Mike here today with some thoughts and a review here of Exmorph Defense. This is from Xor Studios, it came out in 2018, and you might have heard of that name before because their latest game, The Rift Breaker, uh, I've previously done a video on it. And I thought that game was pretty good. I was missing a little bit of something to add more depth and strategy to it. And from what they've released so far in terms of their you know, long-term roadmap, in terms of content updates and stuff that they want to add to the game. Uh, I think it's going to be in a pretty good shape after all the, the content updates. Uh, not that it was lacking by any means, it's just, you know, I felt like it needed that little bit of something extra uh, to, to really make it stand out. Um, but anyways, this is their previous game. It's, it's a bit of a more simple game, it's just a tower defense thing. It's a little bit different than your typical tower defense, since there's a lot of action elements in it as well. Uh, but it's pretty cool. Like, you can see the trajectory from this game to the uh, newer game afterwards, which I think is really neat. Another core the skip through all that. It is required to modify this planet's metallic core. Or maybe not. The landing site is secure uh, at the center right. of a human settlement. This can complicate the expansion process. Mm -hmm. Prepare to defend the core. Good. I'll try and do this in Sending 10 minutes. This I don't know if we can. We'll try and do one or two, two uh, videos or one or two at the ways of the here. After so, the most of the levels in this game Send are pretty unique, right? They'll introduce you to... A new mechanic, a new enemy, a new tower, what have you. They try and make everything kind of unique and different in that sense. Uh, so since we're kind of going back a little bit, I'm, I am being thrown stuff that I've seen before. So that's why I'm not paying too much attention here, but... You know, we'll start building up our towers. So... There's a lot of different avenues enemies can come in from. When you first start, the earlier waves will only have, you know, two or three. They'll keep it kind of simple. And then you'll want to build up your, your maze, if you will, to uh, try and slow them down, redirect them, and make them take the long way or, you know, get attacked multiple times, so on and so forth. If you play tower defense games, this is a pretty... Pretty normal strategy, I suppose. Um, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be surprising to anyone seeing this kind of stuff. So what I'm doing here is I'm just setting basic towers down. I'll take that wall away for a second, and maybe maybe I'll put something here. All right, that's not too bad. And maybe we. Good. Because what might happen here is they may come down here and around eventually. So what I'm making sure is that the, I'm not making the path too long. And since we've got potential dealing longer term damage, we'll do an artillery. And let's get going. So what makes this game pretty unique is the fact your ship is pretty capable. Like, you can do a lot of damage with this guy. You can pretty much deal with an entire row of, of enemies. But you also have to balance it with the fact that you can hop into build mode and siphon up all the scrap. So if you look at the bottom left corner, you see the meters are building up. And each of those yellow pips are a uh, different building I can build. So, you know, I can build two normal towers, or I can build a tier 2 tower with those two pips. And so, it's a bit of a balancing act of choosing when to to go for uh, reclaiming resources versus attacking. Because the resources do disappear after a while. So you can definitely balance it out, kind of like this. And, you know, you're not going to lose a lot of scrap, but you're also able to do a lot of damage. 
And so it's a pretty common strategy, I'd say, if you're going to be playing this game. Uh, so dying is not a big problem either. As you'll see, you respawn pretty quickly. So it's, it's almost a non-issue. The biggest effect that it has is on your overall score, because there are leaderboards for this game. Uh, if you're into that, I would not spend a lot of time trying for leaderboard times and scores until maybe you've completed the playthrough. <laughs> Once you've done that, then you get access to everything on every level. And then you'll be able to set some real good times then, or real good scores, I guess. Um, score scoring in this game is a combination of how many times you died, how much scrap you've picked up, how quickly you've completed levels, and how much damage your core has gone. So I've been able to get perfects in pretty much every aspect. Uh, but there's also score multiplier based on the difficulty. So I'm playing on normal difficulty. There's also two higher difficulties and one lower. So, you know, there's normal, hard, very hard, and an easy difficulty. A uh, normal difficulty is really easy, so I've not had problems so far. Uh, so let's see. So as is typical of this game, there'll be more paths coming in. So what I'll do here is I'll downgrade this, or s switch this guy out for a uh, penetrating laser. So I have a nice line of damage here. I'll put my anti-air up here. Go for missiles. Yeah, these are light helicopters. These are light helicopters, so one missile should deal with them. And then we'll loop this guy around up here. So you can kind of see light blue is where you'll wall up. Dark blue is where you uh, you, you kind of want to block that off, right? Units have to be able to walk through at least one square. So if you're trying to do some fancy stuff and make them, you know, zigzag up and down, you got to keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, if you want to fully block off the path, you got to connect up to the light blue stuff somehow. Uh, otherwise, you will not stop them. Um, so there's artillery here, which means the artillery will damage my towers. So I'll build a counter artillery. And then these guys, I'll force them down this ramp up here. Now there are, there are infantry, so I'll do some fire, because you'll see here in a sec, the infantry will still walk through, however the normal path will go through this long path all the way up here and back down and around. So yeah, it kind of gives you an idea. There's a lot of stuff going on. It's not a particularly simple game. Um, but it doesn't take very long to get a hang of everything. Like, yeah, there's a lot of mechanics going on, but at the same time, it's not like it's a super crazy deep game either. You know, I I can't see how too many people having problems getting, getting hang of everything that they're introducing here uh, rather quickly. So... Just kind of keeping this simple for now, not complicating things too much. Uh, but if anything, I might have to go Mobile in a different artillery direction. Team ready to enter mission zone. <clears throat> yeah, this is kind of typical mission progression. They'll they'll continually throw in, you know, mention different enemy types or more paths that they can come in from. A lot of the later missions after this one, well, this one eventually becomes that too. Uh, you'll get enemies coming in from, like, say up here. And it's going to go all the way down and across and down here. I can't route these guys anywhere else. So you are absolutely forced to work and fight on two different fronts. And so you have to kind of split where your towers are and 
you know, maybe you put a little bit more defense in one place because then you'll spend your time flying around on the other front. Or maybe you have a really optimized build and you'll feel pretty confident getting getting the kills with it. Like yeah, there's a lot of things to keep in mind and strategize with. And yeah, it's nope. There goes my ATRX, the building collapsed. Artillery coming up in a moment. Please stand by to confirm visuals. I'll actually build a second one down here, so I can sell this one. And then we'll build an artillery up here. So yeah, I don't really have too much else to add here. I mean, I just crossed over the 10 minute mark, so we'll finish this wave. I'll show off a couple other little bits and pieces, and I think we'll call it there. Um, yeah, this game's got a lot of missions. Each of the missions have taken me roughly half an hour so far to beat. So, you know, not a short game by any means. But at the same time, yeah, it's very easy to you know, hop in, do a quick mission or two, and kind of go about it that way. And, um, yeah, I've not touched any of the DLC. There's three different DLC packs, mission packs available. The game does have an endless mode if you're done with the campaign and you want to play more. That's an option as well. We need air support on station uh, but I think ultimately... I don't know, they trade depth for this action element, kind of, to a certain extent. So there's not like a lot of crazy deep strategy, right? There's no target prioritization or uh, different tower mixes and upgrades and whatnot. Like, it's it's a fairly straightforward game. You build towers, you build a basic maze, and that's about it. Uh, so as you can see, uh, this is what I was talking about earlier. I can't route these guys down here anywhere. So, you know, I can make them zigzag around here and slow them down a little bit. Uh, but, yeah. I don't know. It's a good game, though. It's fun and simple to play through. If, you know, if you've done a mistake, you can just slow the last checkpoint. Because maybe I, I miss that these guys are coming in here and I build a bunch of stuff here and then I realize, oh no, I, I didn't put any defenses. You just hit escape, load the last checkpoint, and you set up your towers again. But uh, I think that's about it. We'll just look at the options super quick. So yeah, there's the three DLC packs, there's the survival mode. And this game runs really well. Ryzen uh, 3600, which is a 6 core Ryzen, along with a GTX 1080 Ti, 2560-1440, everything maxed out. This game only hits like 30% GPU usage, and I think I'm running at 100, 120 frames or something. It's quite a bit, so yeah, it's it's very light on resources. And in case you're wondering, the controls really simple. All right, next wave, switching between go slash build mode and normal stuff. Anyways. That's X Morph Defense. A uh, pretty cool game. I'd say check it out. I've seen it on pretty deep discount recently. Uh, recently being, you know, end of January. Uh, you'll probably see this in a couple months. But yeah, I've seen this game either being given away or on deep discount. I'm trying to, uh, I guess, build up some more excitement for the Rift Breaker and all the future updates that they've been doing to it. So, pretty good game. I would recommend it to people who like tower defense games. And with that said, this is Mike here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next week with another video.